Thank you and welcome to another episode of Sis Let's Talk. I am your host. I am Nicole Knox. And today we're going to be discussing um, my plastic surgery journey. And I want to, I have so many women that reach out to me via um, Facebook in regards to plastic surgery, who I went through, and especially when they're looking for reviews on um, the doctors that I've gone to in the past. So um, let's get started. Back in 2009, I had my my 13-year-old daughter. Um, she's going to be 13 come April. And I basically was told I couldn't have any more kids. So when I said, okay, I can't have any more kids, I want to do a Maui makeover. And what I did was, um, at the time, my breasts were naturally a size I. And I did a breast reduction to a size D. And then I wanted to get a tummy tuck done. So I did everything I needed to do to lose weight, um, get my breast reduction, and then get my tummy tuck done. And I got my tummy tuck done and my breast reduction surgery done at Princess Cosmetics in Orange County. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think they're open anymore. Um, but I, I went there in 2010. And the process, I what I did was I did my... Um, tummy tuck first and then what how the procedure went was I went in um, had the procedure um, they did liposuction I did my tummy tuck and then I went home with drains and then in two weeks I came back to the doctor's office they took them out checked me for any infection checked my belly button things of that nature in regards to pain I, I always tell women this when they be like oh how was the pain I am not the best judge of character to ask because I have a very significant high pain tolerance so I don't want to say oh you know what it didn't hurt but it might be like killer for any other woman and then just for me it just didn't hurt um I felt like though I had did like a million sit-ups and I felt like you know like my stomach was just so tight and I did like a million sit-ups a month later I went and got my breasts reduced and um i was like okay i was i was happy that my boobs were smaller but they t um, the doctor did such a bad job of how much tissue she removed like i had saggy d's it was like terrible it was like if i would have known that they were going to look the way they looked after i got my reduction i probably would have just kept my eyes because my boobs looked so weird um after the reduction um, and I really wasn't happy with my body at all. I felt like I, when I got it done in Orange County, like I got a botched job. Like I was really upset and um, it, it, it just was terrible. $50,000 was spent on my breast reduction as well as my stomach and lipo and everything like that. It was a total, of, it came out to like $50,000. But I didn't even look like $50,000. I was really upset um, and I was really depressed. Like it was, it was terrible. Like I looked like... SpongeBob SquarePants and I wasn't even built like SpongeBob SquarePants, but I looked like SpongeBob SquarePants like no joke um, Even after my body settled and then back then also too in 2010 2009 2010 they weren't really promoting doing um, All the massages and stuff like that like that wasn't a big thing Here we go in 2016 um the big thing of BBWs, I um, mean BBLs, I mean, and at this time I was, um, I already, I always had a nice size big butt, like nice size big butt. What I wanted was my chichis fixed. I wanted my boobs fixed because I was so depressed at the way that they looked. I wanted my boobs fixed. It was terrible, 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 and I wanted my stomach to have an hourglass and what ended up happening was um after i had my third daughter i was told i couldn't have any more kids and i miraculously got pregnant again and lost uh lost my child and then they were like oh you can never you know that'll never get ha happen again you won't get ha get pregnant anymore and then i miraculously have two other children and what's very difficult is to have children while you have had a tummy tuck because it's, it's like weird on your stomach um Mind you, now here in 2016, after I've had my last daughter, um, 
my stomach was still very flat. It just was shaped weird. I still had this SpongeBob square pants look. Um, and I, my, my sister came home and, um, my sister called me and she was like, oh, this girl at my job, she got, um, her body done in Mexico and it looks really good. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, let me, let, like, how good does it look? So I really wanted my boobs fixed. I really just, oh my God, I really had to have my boobs fixed. And then I was like, so I called, I called the people, um, Bella um, Bodies in um, Mexico. First of all, I found them on Instagram and we got them through a referral. Amazing, 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 amazing. Um, me and my sister went together. And so when I told them, I, mind you, I priced out all over LA, everything. Like I was willing to pay Dr. Hughes in LA. He's really good. I was willing to go to Miami. But I remember the care, the aftercare of when I got my treatment in Orange County and it was like once my two weeks was up like they weren't checking on me they weren't checking to see if I was happy with the results they weren't checking to see like if um you know if I just felt as beautiful as all the money that they made off me and I was just like mm, I don't want to go through that experience again I wanted to go with someone where the women were happy with their results so I um me and my sister go and I tell and then everyone in that I wanted my boobs fixed and I wanted the tummy tuck again because my stomach looked funny after the two kids and I wanted lipo and you know everybody was just like that's just too much work at one time and I was like there's no way I'm splitting that surgery up again like with a month in between first of all I don't have the time off work and I just didn't want to I wanted it all done at the same time uh, my health is not the greatest um, I suffered a lot of health problems due to bearing children. So, um, my family was really afraid. Like, oh my God, you're going all the way to Mexico. You're going to Tijuana to get this surgery. And I was that desperate. And I remember contacting Bella Bodies and, um, Gladys is amazing. Her team is amazing. And I, um, told her what I wanted. And, you know, she was like, yeah, we'll do all the work. No problem. So I took my sister. My sister was going to get a B, uh, fat transfer, and I um my my sister was going to get a fat transfer. And we were going to go get it done together. And I just remember we we go down there and um we go down there and they take us back there. And my sisters are RN, mind you. So I told my sister, we're going to Mexico. So if you feel like this is crazy, if you feel like this is unsafe, if you feel like they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, if you feel anything that's crazy, we will get up and leave because you technically are the expert in this situation because you are an RN. So my sister was just like, oh, you know, at that time it was 2016. So she was like, oh, no, you know, the, uh, the hospital is just old and things of that nature. But everything that they're doing is up to standard. Everything is up to code. So mind you, my sister was like, you know, let me go first because my sister was like, I need to know if anything happens. Do I need to resuscitate her? Whatever. We got to get her back. Like, we don't want no problems. And then we need to be able to get her back across the border to a... um. United States Hospital, just in case. So I go in, they put me to sleep and take my blood, take all my vitals and everything like that. I go in and when I wake up, I look amazing. And what happened was they were like, in reference to my boobs, they were like, because of the amount of tissue that they removed, they just left me with skin. So I could feel my bones in my chest. Like that's how flat my chichis were, was that when I touched my chest, I could feel like my breastplate and they were like we have to give you gummies because we can't we can't fix this we can't fix this because they they took remove so much tissue so even if we gave you a lift or anything like it would really make your boobies smaller because you know we would have to do too much to fix it so i was like okay i'll go with the gummies and then i ended up back with double d i ended up back with a full D breast like I ended up back with a full D breast so then here we go now with my stomach 
they did an amazing job. They did another tummy tuck. They removed fat from my face. They removed fat from my back. They removed fat from everywhere. And then they filled my butt up. Mind you, my body is in survival mode. I've had children. I'm older. So I risked all the amount of fat that they put in my butt. I remit, I They did let us know, like, it's fat. So you with a fat transfer, if you lose weight, you're going to lose the fat. It doesn't matter. It's fat. Um, if you gain weight, it's going to get bigger because... Again, it's your own natural fat. They're just moving it from one place to another. So, and if you burn it off, it goes away. And I remember after um, we go, we do all our massages, we do all our healing, my sister was so sad because she, all of it burnt off. And then me, I'm like, oh my gosh, like here I am with this massive butt. It's not going down. Mind you, at that time, I was a sexy 180. Now, here's the thing that people keep in, have to keep in mind because a lot of people are like, oh, why do women go to the gym after like they worked on the gym and why do they do this? Well, because if you don't take care of your body, I have since gained about 50 pounds um, from my surgery in 2016. And my butt, even though nothing else has gotten bigger, my butt has become extremely massive to where I'm like, I'm even considering now getting a butt reduction because I've allowed myself to gain so much weight that my butt has gotten bigger than I've ever wanted it to be. And I won't gain fat anywhere else. I won't gain, my stomach is flat still. I still have a small tiny waist. My boobs have gotten now to a double D when they were just a full D from my surgery because I've gained the weight. And Again, my butt is massive. So if I don't exercise and if I don't take care of myself and I don't eat right, my butt just continues to continue to grow. And that's the reason why girls, you see them still trying to work out. You still them trying to maintain their body and still wear their waist trainers because you, if you did a fat transfer, again, wherever they put the fat, it's going to grow. And if it's, it wasn't put in your butt or if it was put in your boobs, it's going to grow and grow and grow if you don't take care of yourself. Um... Do I recommend belly bo Bella Bodies? I recommend Bella Bodies to anybody. My sister has gone. My aunt has gone. I've taken a, a best friend there. So when anytime somebody's like, oh, who do you recommend for getting your surgery? I always recommend bo Bella Bodies. I love Gladys. I love her husband. I love her team. They have since upgraded their facility. Um... Bella Bodies is massive now. A lot of people ask like, oh, well, how long did you... Um, Mind you, I had full body lipo. So, I mean, I had lipo on my face. So, I walked around. I sat in the house with this chin thing. Um, I had fat removed from my armpits. I had fat removed from my back. I had fat removed from my stomach. I had fat removed from my thighs. I had fat removed from my arms. So, and then you can't sit on your butt. So, I literally sat in the most, un most unorthodox, awkward position for two months. So, I would not lose my booty. And because I was, I had my boobs done and I had a tummy tuck. So everything hurt it. Also too, when you go to do a, um, any type of surgery out of the country, I have Kaiser. So as soon as I touched down back to the United States, I immediately went to Kaiser because I'm like, okay, all the medicine that they gave me and all the prescriptions and antibiotics and all that kind of stuff. It's all in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. So, of course, I go to Kaiser. And I'm going to keep it real. It was to make sure that I still had all my organs. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. To make sure I still had all my organs. Because, again, I went to a third world country. Um, and I couldn't read the pain medicine and all that stuff in, in English. Um, and... Kaiser gave me everything. They were like, all they heard was, you went to a third war, <laughs> you went to Mexico and had surgery. They gave me the works. They prescribed me the best pain meds. They prescribed me all the stuff that I knew in English to where I felt comfortable. Like, I'm going to be okay. And um, now what, uh, now I'm with the problem again that I'm struggling with is because I the amount of weight that I gain in... Over the years, um, my butt is heavy. It's heavy, it's heavy, and it's my fault. Because, you know, with life, um, I still look gorgeous with no clothes on. But when I, because I've gained that extra weight, it's like I feel like my butt is huge, so it makes me look 
bigger than what I am. And I can tell when I've gained way too much weight, my butt gets heavy and it hurts my tailbone. And it, I, I have no back pain from me getting... Um, I love my breasts. I have no back pain. I, there is some extra skin on my breasts because they didn't completely fill it. But because I'm like, if they would have completely filled it, I probably would have been bigger. But I'm glad that I'm still like in a healthy size. I'm a double D. Um, so now before I'm like making any decision to get the butt reduction or anything like that, I'm telling myself, do the work, go to the gym and lose the weight, eat better, and try to lose the weight on your own. Like, yes, for me at this point, surgery is so easy. But when I look back at the amount of surgeries that I've had on my body, it's actually really a lot. And um, and one thing that I love, and you know, everyone talked about it so heavily and so terrible during the pandemic. A broken mother, a depressed mother, is way worse than an absent father. And I loved seeing all the mothers um go get their body done because it, i don't care how good of a man you have treating you i don't care whether you're single i don't care if you have you know your kids love you and you got your the greatest job one of the things that is really depressing to a woman is to she and, and we as mothers we love our children but we don't like the hardship it was on our bodies to bring them into the world. We now got all these stretch marks and, and things just don't look right. Our clothes just don't fit. And we become very depressed because our self-esteem is so low. And, you know, yes, we gave life. And, yes, there's so many women that just bounce back. and, and But a lot of us don't have that bounce back. I remember the bounce back that I had after my first three kids. I was like, okay, but when I had my... Fourth, when I got pregnant with my fourth child and lost my fourth child, and then I had my fifth and sixth, the bounce back was not the same as when I had my first three. And there's some girls that you know they've never got a stretch mark, nothing like they're just beautiful. That's not the same for all women. And to see, um, you know, women go and do what makes them happy, which was getting their bodies done so they could feel confident when they take their clothes off, so they could feel sexy, so they could get excited to get dressed. Like, who cares? They were beautiful. They were happy. A happier mother is better than a depressed a depressed one. And I, I'm just so happy to all the women that went and did exactly what they wanted to do. If they got their bunny done, I was rooting and cheering them on because it takes a lot for a mother to say, a real mother, to say, you know what? I'm going to take this money and do something for me. That's very hard for a mother. Mothers always go to, I got to do this for the kids and I got to do this for the kids. And we always put ourselves last. So to see all the women that were moms that went and got their bodies done, that it took them a lot of courage to say, I'm going to finally do something for me. And I loved to see it. Loved to see it that they took that time to actually take care of themselves. There's so many women that I'm looking at where you could tell, yes, that we had our body done. But I'm like, girl, yes, honey, you look amazing. Amazing. You're beautiful. I love it. It don't matter what she got on at this point because the glow in her face, like you could tell that she's a totally different person. Like she loves it. And I'm so happy for every woman that did get that could and did get their body done because there's so many women that can't. And they're just in there talking mess about the us women that have. And I'm like, please, if you knew the depressed women we were, a lot of us are that cl this close to suicide over how unhappy we are when we look in the mirror. Like, we don't even look like ourselves no more. Down to even our hair be falling out. So, when I see that a woman goes to the gym or she does anything to take care of herself, I'm so proud and so happy to see it. And I'm glad to every woman that it went and got it done because you finally stepped down and did something for yourself. Um, and again, uh, so many people are out, women ask me to review Bella Bodies. I had an amazing experience with Bella Bodies. They, they made sure I was okay. They monitored me for a year. I did massages for half a year. They monitored me and my sister for a year. They checked our body. They, they Skyped us, talked to us every day, came, sent nurses to our house. Like, I, they have the, the way they took care of us as patients, like we're not, you're not getting that. You're not getting that in America. 
you're not <laughs> like I'm telling you in Orange County like once my two point my two week appointment was done they removed my drinks those people never spoke to me ever again they didn't care if I was again like I said if I was happy with my results anything and I just was very grateful to Bella Bodies that they took care of not only me they took care of my sister they took care of my aunt they took care of a good friend of mine that went and got her boobs done my aunt in her 50s went to Bella Bodies and did a, did a tummy tuck and a um fat transfer to her butt like and both of us beautiful all three of us came out all four of us came out um immaculate we loved our work we were so we were so happy and I'm truly grateful for them. And I just want to encourage anybody, if you want to get your your body done, it's better, yes, to go to people that um, that you have, they have good reviews. Um, it's better if you go with people that you know personally that went to that person um, and that you really sit down, tell them what exactly that you want. Because a lot of companies, a lot of these surgeries, because it's so prominent and so everywhere, they're offering discounts. Um, they're offering all kind of stuff, but make sure you do your research, do your research, do your research, do your research on what exactly you want it's, that you want, what exactly are the risks and be honest with yourself. The older you are, let's, they're going to fill your butt up. They're going to fill your butt up to the maximum. And then you have to ask yourself, I'm older. I was in my thirties and then my sister's at the, at the time she was younger. So my body is in survival mode. I'm older. So it's retaining everything that I have. So for me, yeah, any you can't any alter is going to be drastic. They're like, oh, all this is going to her butt. Well, I'm not, I'm not the best eater. I don't eat three meals a day, and I don't snack two. I don't, I don't eat enough. So of course, my body's always in survival because I don't eat enough. So my body's like, yeah, I got to hold on to all the fat that I can get because, well, no, when the next time this chick's gonna eat, um, she'll drink all day, but you know, she's not the best. I don't monitor my food good, anything like that. So, yes, when I did my surgery, my body held all the fat it possibly can hold on to because it was like, well, I didn't, not the best person to take care of myself. So, do your research. Um, was I scared at any time? No, I was not. I didn't go in there afraid. I didn't go in there with low self esteem. I went in there like, this is what I want to do for my body and I'm going to love it. And both times, I just was like, I'm never going to do, yeah, the the hype, I'm more like, oh, I'll go to a third world country before I go, I go to somewhere. And like, unless you're literally telling me you're going to take care of me and do all this extra stuff. And, but they didn't even have, Orange County didn't even have good bedside manner. Like it was, it was crazy. It was like an in and out, like, all right, we did this for her. Now she's, it's time for her to go. Where... Tijuana, they made sure we ate. We made they made sure we were comfortable. The nurses showered us. They made sure they took care of us. They made sure that we could walk. They made sure that we could use the restroom. All kind of stuff. Where in Orange County, they didn't make sure none of that. Once you woke up, they unplugged you, um, and put you in your car and sent you home. I don't even think my amnesia medication hadn't even worn down. I was still talking crazy when I got into the car. As opposed to when I left Tijuana, I was fully awake. They had showered me. Everything put me clean clothes on. Fed. I had ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Everything before I even got to my house. So, again, I encourage you all, women, love yourself. Do the things that makes you happy. And if if a if plastic surgery is what you want to do, I encourage all of you women to do it. Thank you for being on my episode today.